LinkedIn have had company pages for quite a while now, um, but did you know they also have service pages on individual profiles? So these have been around for a little while and now they're becoming more prevalent. So I'm going to show you where to find one and how to set one up on your LinkedIn profile. So first of all, let's go to LinkedIn and the home screen. Uh, this is my profile here. I am a LinkedIn consultant. The channel is LinkedIn with Louise and I also host the LinkedIn with Louise podcast if you are interested in finding out more about using LinkedIn for business. So how do we find your service page? So click on your profile and you should see down here, there are different options along the bottom of what is called your introductory card, which is this area of your profile here. And it says, show recruiters you're open to work, share that you're hiring, I'm gonna close that, and it should say providing services. If you cannot see this option, then here's a nice little workaround. So if you go to, and I am a member of this group, so I'm gonna show you how to find it. I'm gonna go and join a group that is called LinkedIn Service Providers Group. This, this group here, LI Service Provider Group, you'll see it has 33,000 members. <laughs> so those are people who are already using the services page. And we can go back and have a look at a few of them for examples. But it's an unlisted group, so you have to go and find it or reach out to me and I can invite you to join it. Um, and then we go to your profile and you should see providing services. So what does it look like? So let's click on see all details. So this is what a services page looks like on somebody's profile. And it's about services provided by Louise Brogan, you have a small area of 500 characters to write about yourself and the services you provide. So keep it really nice and concise. So mine about is LinkedIn consultant and trainer. Um, and then I invite people to get in touch with me if they're interested in my services. And I also point out that I'm available as a speaker and the places I have spoken. So it is short and concise. It is not your about summary which is over on your LinkedIn personal profile. It is a short and um, concise summary of the services you provide. And then you get to add in the services you want to add in. And I'll show you how to do that in a second. Then you can invite people to give you a review um, and they can mark you out of five. So because people don't really know about this yet, you might find it challenging to get people to actually leave a review for you, but I have a review from a client of mine, Michelle. She gave me five stars and says, Louise has the knack for taking the mystery and guesswork out of social media, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So thank you, Michelle, that's very appreciated. Um, you can invite people to review you. So I'm going to say, I would like to be, um, let's say business consulting, and I'm gonna click next and then only connections of yours can be invited um, to leave a review for you. So think about somebody who you've been working with um, and ask them for a review. So I'm gonna ask my friend Luke, Sharon, and I have now invited him to leave me a review of my services. That will appear in his notifications and he will be invited to leave me, literally leave me a review. Um, so that's what it looks like. Now, if I want to edit my page, you go in here and this is where you can add in services. So you're able to add in 10 services. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So if I take out um, copywriting, so I'm gonna add one more service and you start typing your services in here. So maybe this is the thing. It is limited to the services that LinkedIn recognize. So career change maybe, which is not a service of mine career development coaching, there are no other options for that. So you can't, whereas in skills, the skill section, you can add in as whatever words you want. In services, you cannot, but they do have these different options below. So these are the services for accounting, coaching and mentoring, consulting, design, events, finance, home improvement, architecture, interior design, landscape design, information technology, insurance, law, marketing, operations, photography, real estate, software development, and writing. So you can go into each of these services 
and see, um, so grant writing, I have a few colleagues who do grant writing so they could add those services to their profile. So you can only add in services that are already listed and recognized by LinkedIn. And then you click done. And this is where you then can add in your about section. You have 500 characters in here. So make sure, you keep it really nice and concise. And um, you can say where you want to work. So whether it's your local area or you want to work remotely, you can turn on and off your um, review visibility. So mine is visible. Client requests, so people who are not connected to you can send you a message about your services for free. Um, and it says visibility, who can see the services you provide? Anyone. And I click save and that's my services page. Now I can now share this page in a post and literally is pulling out all the key services that I have here. Um, so you can do that to let people know about your services. I'm not posting that just now, um, but uh, if you have not done a services page yet and you create one off the back of this training, then I suggest that you do this. Space out your wording a little bit and maybe list your services like this and then invite people to reach out and talk to you in that post before posting it. Okay, um, as I said, I'm not going to share that just now, so I'm going to discard that draft. But let's look and see um, other people who are in that LinkedIn services group who may have added in um, services to their page. So I'm going to go across to my network again. Remember, click on groups here, uh, LinkedIn service provider group. And let's see if I, so 93 of my connections are in here. So let's pick um, somebody who I hope will have their services showing. Um, looking for somebody who's connected to me. Let's see. Hmm. Excellent. Okay, let's try Joy. Okay, in Bangladesh, um, open to work. Let's click on his services page here. That's actually job preferences. That is not his services page. He hasn't set up the services page. Joy, that was not the best example for me <laughs> to pull up. Let's go back in again and go to groups, service provider, and let's click on, let's see. And it's tricky, isn't it? Because you want to find somebody who you know has got their services showing. And that's a little bit hard to find them. So let's just have a check one second. Okay, so I found Irina who is a connection with my first level connection here and she is providing services. So we're going to click on her services page and here we are. Services provided by Irina. Um, who does she work with? So it tells you in her about section what she does. She does corporate wellness and then the services provided are down here. Now I would like to give her a review but I'm not able to. So LinkedIn still has a bit of a way to go with this. Let's be honest. Um, so the services page is nothing like the company page. Um, it is a good step forward. It's really good for freelancers. And I think it will help you get found for the services that you list in here. Um, so I highly recommend that you do it if you are a service provider. So just to recap where it goes, it's on your personal profile. Remember personal profile down at the bottom. It'll invite you to add services to your profile. If it doesn't, go and join the LinkedIn services provider group and it will appear here within the R. And then you want to list up to 10 services. You have 500 characters in which to summarize your services and you can invite up to 20 of your connections to leave you a review of your services. A little tip there that if these people are not leaving you the reviews, you can um, edit review status over here, private to me, so if Lindsay, for example, has not left me a review and um, within a few weeks, I will withdraw that and send that request through to somebody who maybe is more aware of the services page and what it means on your LinkedIn profile. So I hope you find this useful. 
um, let me know if you are using the services page, if you were aware of it, what questions you have around it. Um, I'd love to help you. And if you're enjoying this content, then please do hit subscribe um, for the channel. And there will be weekly tutorial videos on how to use LinkedIn for business showing up here.